Today on The Joy of Editing, this is part two of my photo to art series. I found some new improved ways of turning photographs into art. All this coming up next. Stay tuned. Hello, everyone, and welcome to The Joy of Editing with Dave Kelly. Have I got a good one for you today? I've been working on turning photos into art. If you watched my first video about this, I showed you a technique to do this, but I've improved upon that technique because I think some things have changed in the last Photoshop beta update. And I've updated my method for turning photos into art, and I'm going to show that to you today. And I also have a free action for you to help you out in the process. Now, when I say some things have changed in Photoshop, I'm talking about the generative fill and the way it works. I recently tried using my action to turn a photo into art, and I got a horrible result, which got me thinking. Again, something must have changed since the last Photoshop beta update. Now, before you go ahead and download that action, you're going to need to watch this video to understand how it really works. So stick with me here. First off, let me show you the issue I had with my original action. Now, I've deleted that original action, but I want to show you something. I'm going to open up my actions. And you'll notice I have these actions here, GF Painting 30, the whole way up to GF Painting 95. Now you're gonna get all these actions. This first action would be basically what that original action was, and it really worked good. But when I tried it a few days back, I got a horrible result, and I'll show you what I mean. Now I do recommend that if you downloaded my first photo to art action, just go ahead and delete that, and you'll be installing this new action, which will be so much better. This first action, GF Painting 30, would have been the same action as the original Photo to Art action, by the way. And by the way, you're seeing my actions in a button mode. Button modes are kind of nice, so you don't see all that extra information. But to get to button mode, if you come up here to what we call, a lot of people like to call the hamburger menu, click on that and make sure you have button mode checked on. If you have it checked off, you're going to see your actions like this. I think it's really helpful to turn on that button mode. It just kind of cleans up this whole interface. All right, then I'm going to click on GF Painting 30. And you notice I have a selection here. And I'm going to come up here to Generative Fill and type in Oil Painting. And then click on Generate. Now, if you've used Generative Fill in the past, you know it takes about 20 to 25 seconds to render this out. I'm not going to be making you wait all that time. That's just wasted video time. And I certainly don't want to waste your time. And here is the result I got. And I was shocked. I thought, man, it's a great abstract. But man, this doesn't look like the results I was getting before. And then I, that's what made me wonder. There has got to have been something that has changed in the last update of Photoshop Beta. Let's look at the other two versions. Here's the next version. Okay, that's kind of cool. A really cool abstract. And here is the final version and that you really can't make out the girl at all in this one now by the way i'm going to go ahead and close out my um, actions panel because i'm going to work from my tk8 my actions panel it's just easier for me to reference here also it's not going to cover up the image for us here by the way if you're interested in any tk8 products i have a tk friday video every friday which shows you how to use the tk plugin for photoshop which is where this My Actions panel came from. So check me out on Fridays if you'd like to see what that is all about. And also in the description below this video, if you click on Show More, it'll open up the description. And then I have affiliate links for like the TK plugin for Photoshop, as well as different uh, affiliate links for products that I recommend. If you'll use my affiliate links, I'll make a small commission. And that helps me to keep uh, tutorials coming your way. And when you use those links, I really appreciate that. And so for now, instead of clicking the actions here, I'm going to close this panel and I'll just choose them from the My Actions panel. I had this brainstorm and I thought, well, you know what? Why don't I make a whole bunch of different opacity levels? And that's what these actions are all about. So I'm not just stuck or you're not just stuck to like a 30% opacity. You can try all these other different opacities here, all with a click of a button, which will really save you a ton of time. And near the end of this video, I'll show you how to install that action. If you want to see what's happening in this action, go ahead and watch that first photo to art video. 
I'll go ahead and delete this generative layer by clicking on the trash can here, making sure that layer was highlighted first. Okay, so now let's look at these different actions here. Now you'll notice we go from 30 up to 95. Now think if you want more abstract looking paintings, you would want to use these lower numbers. If you want a more realistic painting, you want to use these higher numbers. I'll click on GF Painting 85. And then I'll come up to generative fill and I'll just type in oil paint or you could type in painting. I think paint will work just as well. Click generate. And now you can see I have a more realistic painting. Now let's look at some of the different versions. So that looks pretty good. But if you want it a little more abstract, we can go ahead and delete this layer. I'm going to go ahead and let's go to 70. And now we'll type in oil paint again and click generate. And now you can see it's a little more painterly. Let's look at another version. Okay, a lot more painterly on that one. And of course, it's up to generative fill what you're going to get. Now I could click generate again and see if I can generate three more. This takes experimentation. This isn't something that it just comes like with one click. Sometimes you do have to experiment and try different things. Like you want to try these different different uh, actions here. Okay, so there's another version, here's another version, and here is another version. Now, I'm going to show you a little tip here. I'm going to go ahead, in front of oil paint, I'm going to type in Rembrandt style oil paint and click generate. Now, notice the difference I get here just by typing in Rembrandt style oil paint. And now, there's a definite difference, isn't there, just by adding Rembrandt style. So there's the first version, Here's the second version. Okay, that one's different. And sometimes you'll be shocked by what you get, okay? But sometimes you just gotta keep playing around and generate again. I've even used like Van Gogh style oil paint or oil painting, that works as well. Now let's go ahead and let me delete this. And now that we see how that Rembrandt style works, now let's go back to 85. So it should be a little more realistic and I'll type Rembrandt style oil paint in again. And I'll go ahead and click Generate. Okay, so that's a little different. It's a little more painterly. Here's another version. I really like this a lot. This looks really good. I'm not so crazy about the mouth, but everywhere else I like. And there's another one. That one's pretty cool too. Let me see what happens if I add painting at the end instead of just paint. Let's see if that makes a difference. I'll click Generate again. And it might. So there's the first one. Let's see what the second one looks like. Yeah, that's more consistent. So it looks like adding painting instead of paint there actually worked better and now here is the third one but look at that now that is pretty cool this new action for you i think will really help you because you have all these different levels that you can work with so think abstract again at the top the lower numbers and more realistic as you come down and play and experiment it is all about playing and experimenting but after all isn't that all part of the fun and the joy of editing are you ready for some more fun and some more tips? Well, if you are, stay tuned. Let me go ahead and delete this layer. I'm going to click on the trash can. Now, here's what I want to do. I'll click on this action, GF Painting 70, and this time I'll type in Vector Art and click Generate. Now, isn't that fun? Let's see the next version. Pretty cool, right? And here's the third version. But this version, I don't like the eye on that one. Okay, so here's another one. Let's generate another set of three. Okay, there's another one. Here is another one. Oh, well, that one is really interesting. And here is another one. Let me see here. Which one do I like the best? I think I like this one right here. The tip of her nose doesn't look real good right here. So what I will do is go ahead and put a blank pixel layer above there, get my remove tool, and let's just paint over that nose area. See, that can fix that right up just like that. Okay, so here's what I want to do now. I want to add a new background to this image. And to do that, I'm going to click on the background layer and click on select subject. I don't know if you caught the fact that when I added that new blank pixel layer, generative fill left, and now it says select subject. I'll use select subject and I'll click this button right here and I'll click on contract selection. I'll contract it 30 pixels and click OK. And now we're going to invert it so we select the background. And this time I'm going to type in forest and click on generate and we'll see what kind of a background we get now you notice we don't get a background and that is because I didn't click on the top layer so all I have to do is click here and drag this up to the top and now we can see there's our background now, that looks pretty cool that's one version here's another version oh we got two girls in there 
And here's the third version. Okay, so that is a real force back there. Looks like a photograph. So you never know what you're going to get here. And by the way, uh, probably what I should have done, and let's try this. Let me type in vector, vector force. So here's another little tip for you. If you're not getting the right background, like you're getting a photograph, an oil painting, or something else, in this case, I want to have vector force to match the vector woman. And now we see we have that more vector look back there. Here's another one, and here is another one. Oh, look at that. That's kind of interesting, huh? Let's go with this one right here. Now, let's take this vector look and turn it into a painting. This is another tip. Again, you can mix different types of styles like oil painting with watercolor and so on. Oil paintings with vector art, whatever you want. So we can take this vector art. And now that we've reduced a lot of the detail, we can see what it would look like as a painting. And this is what the experimentation is all about. I cannot stress that enough. You must experiment. If you want to get great pieces of art, you're going to have to play with this stuff. But again, that's part of the fun and the joy of editing is playing and having fun and experimenting. And I want you to watch me experiment. That's what this video is about too, to see my process here. So let's try something a little different. Let's try GF Painting 70, a little more on the abstract side, but not too abstract. And this time I'll type in Rembrandt Oil Painting and let's click generate and see what we get. Okay, so that's pretty interesting, okay? So let's try the, another version here. Okay, again, interesting, and here's another version. Now, I probably like this one the best, and again, we could go ahead and click generate again and generate three more, and just keep playing like that until you find something that you really like. But you may not be done at that point, you may have to do some other things to it, you know, like uh, do some more generation and fix things up and do, use your removal tool and just play around and get it looking just the way you want it to look. So there's another version, here's another version, and here's another version. And that's pretty cool too. Which one did I like the best? Well, I don't like the eyes here. And you could always try to generate some new eyes here. And let's try this one. That one's kind of cool, but I don't like the lips. And let's try this one. And I think I like this one the best. Now, like there's some uh, red dots in here. Like maybe I don't want these, so I can just add a blank pixel layer. And with my remove tool, make sure you have sample all layers on. And, you know, I could just come here and just get rid of this kind of stuff. And anything I don't like, I can get rid of it. Like this white thing here. And maybe down on our face here, I could get rid of that. So again, maybe under our eye here, we can fix that up. So we can play with things on here and, you know, try to generate a new set of lips or new eyes and so on and so forth. But you get the idea. You got to play. You got to experiment. And if you want to see more of these type of videos, let me know. I have one more example for you. Here's my final example. And by the way, both of these were Adobe Freestock images. Let's have some fun with this one. I'm going to go ahead and use GF Painting 70, and I'm going to type in something fun. Type in Laird Paper Art, and let's click on Generate and see what we can get here. This is a fun one. This doesn't always work out on all images, but on this image, there's not a whole lot in it, so I think it's really going to work okay on this one. Check it out. Look at this Laird Paper Art look with these fish. That's one version. Here's another version. That's kind of fun, and here's a third version. I really like this one. And now let's go ahead and generate three more. Okay, there's another version. Here's another version. That's pretty fun. And here's the third version. That's pretty cool too. But I think I liked one of the first set. This one or this one? Which one? Not that one, but this one. No, it wasn't that one. I think it was this one right here. Let me show you one more different artistic look. And then I'll show you how to install the action. Let me shut this layer off. And now let's go ahead and go to GF Painting 60. Let's try that and type in Pop Art and we'll click Generate and see what we get here, a different type of art. Wow, definitely a pop art piece. Here's the second version. I like that. I like all these little flecks in the background. And here's the third version. Now oh, that's very poppy. Let's generate three more and see what we can get here. Wow, that one's really cool. Here's the second one. I do like this one too. And here is the third. But you see, you really have to experiment. And just to reiterate one more time, remember how these actions work. Number 30 is very abstract. And as you go down the list, as you get towards 95, it's going to be more detailed as you go. So you have all these different numbers that you can experiment with to kind of just 
hone in the image just the way you want it, whether it's a painting or vector art or layered paper, pop art, whatever you decide to use. Now, let me show you how to install the action. So click on your actions button and then click on the hamburger menu. And then you want to find load actions. Click on load actions. Your file browser will open up, point it to wherever that action was downloaded at. In my case, I put mine on the desktop. And there's that action right there. It's called genfillphotopainting.atn. Click on that and click open. And then when you open up your actions panel, it'll be there. I'm just going to click cancel for now. And then open up your actions by clicking the play button. And you should find them at the bottom of your list. And right here, you could see this group folder called Genfill Photo Painting. Now you'll have to click this little arrow to open that up. And then all your actions live inside here. Now to run an action, just click on it and then click play. But I like the button mode. It makes it simpler. Go up to the hamburger menu and check on button mode. And now you'll see all those actions. You don't have to click a play button. If you want to run an action, if you want this GF Painting 75, click on it and it runs it. Then just come up here to generative fill, type in like oil painting, pop art, watercolor painting, whatever you want. And then after you've typed that in, then you'd click generate. It'll show up right over here. Click generate and that's all you need to do. Well, there you go, everyone. Don't forget to download the action and try this out. I think you're going to enjoy it. Experiment, that is the key and use all your Photoshop skills along with working with generative fill, that's important as well. If you wanna see more of these types of tutorials, let me know, let me know in the comments section below. If you enjoyed the tutorial today, please give it a like and share it with your friends. And if you're not yet a subscriber to this channel, please subscribe, click that bell notification icon. And then every time I upload a new tutorial, you'll get a notification. I wanna thank each and every one of you for joining me today in the joy of editing with Dave Kelly. I'll see you all right here next time, but until then, happy, Editing!